Alexa, turn your volume to two. Hey, everybody. Hey, Chris, I got your shirt. I'm only talking to you. Hey, Chris. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, Debbie, you look so pretty with your hair down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sun is super bright. I'm all washed out. Oh, hello. Oh, mama, you got your hair down, too. You're so cute. And Margie, you already know, girl. <laughs> Margie, every time, every time I see her, I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Oh my goodness, Lord, we just we just thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We're we're gathered here for you. It's all about you. Oh, it's all about you, Lord. It really is. It always has been. I got the baby sleep on me. Try to pull his legs up here. It's okay. You're looking at me like, why are you talking while I'm sleeping? Sorry, sort of. <laughs> Lord, we just thank you. We 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 just honor you today. Every day we should honor him every day. Lord, we just surrender ourselves before you. Um we submit our lives before you. We just come humble and ready to be used by you, Lord. Ultimately recognizing that, you know, we we are nobody and we are nothing. But because of you, Lord, you have made us holy. You have made us righteous. None of us are good. None of us are good on our own. None of us are righteous on our own. None of us are holy on our own. We need you so much. We need you so much. We need you for every breath, for every for every step of the way. And I know that's what he wants of us. He wants us to be so dependent upon him. Never just thinking that we got this. We you know, I got I know how to do this. It's fine. No. He wants us so dependent upon him that it's only him. Oh, we just we just thank you for this partnership. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Papa. We just invite you. We invite your, your presence. We invite your will, that your will will be done. It's more important to just have everything that you want us to have and do everything that you want us to do. Lord, we just thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that as we pray in the spirit today, those who have not <clears throat> had the evidence of speaking in tongues that it would produce today, they would be able to produce through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. If anyone here has never spoke in in, in tongues before, if, if that's something that you've never done and maybe you want to pray in the spirit, um, you don't have to tell me but I just want you in your heart you can say out loud it doesn't matter because he knows your heart and he hears you he listens before you have even called he says I've answered but if it's if if you want to pray in the spirit and you have not yet have been able to do that first things first we are going to ask Holy Spirit to come in inside you to infill you because he needs to be inside you and infill you. If you haven't been in, infilled by him yet, then he's just on the outside of you waiting to come in. Because the Lord's a gentleman. He always waits to be invited. Never, you know, never just barges in on us. Praise his name. He's so good. So very first thing, we want to get the temple clean. So Lord, right now, each of us, before you, Lord, we repent. We admit and acknowledge and know, Lord, that, that we have sinned in our life. That, that we have done things that was not right. Or we have judged when we shouldn't have judged some someone or even a situation. Lord, we know that every sin we can bring before you and you will wash us white as snow. 
Wash us in your blood, Jesus. We just repent before you. We're repenting is not just apologizing, but it's turning and going the other way. It's basically a promise, Lord, saying that I will not continue in the way that I was going, Lord. If it was, even if it's because I haven't chose to put you first, Lord, that's a sin. He should be first. That's what his word says. So Lord, every sin. Okay, well, ask daddy about it. And it's okay. No, I don't know what you guys are doing. You need to ask daddy. I was going to tell you that. Can I ask you if I can have a strawberry? Yeah, take the strawberries upstairs. <laughs> but Lord, we... Thank you, Holy Spirit. It, it, understanding that repenting is that we're going another way. We're 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 paving paving the right path, or maybe we're getting back on the right path. Maybe we need course correction, whatever it be. Just put it all before Him. This isn't about judging you. Oh, you were more sinful, and you did. A, it's not about none of that. We're here for the Lord, and He does not condemn you. You just repent before him and you, you tell him you're not going that way no more. Whatever it is, I put it down. Nothing's more important than you. We just thank you right now, Lord, as we are surrendered here before you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Very, very cool. <laughs> very, very cool. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We just lo loose from our souls. All trauma, all pain, all grief, unforgiveness. Thank you, Lord. All fear of, of every kind. Hate and malice, grief. Thank you, Lord. Lily, Lily. Lily, show, listen, calm down. Just take it to your father. I'm doing something. So stop and listen to what I'm asking you. And then you will be obedient and do the thing that I said. Take it to your father and let, no, no. Take it to your father and ask him. You will also go to your father. Now go. And be careful. So oh Lord, I just we just submit and surrender ourselves before you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, we loose those things from our soul. Every bad word, whether we heard it, spoke it, even read it, all images that are not of you, we loose these things from our soul right now. Generational curses be broken right now. Hallelujah. Demonic assignments be broken right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for leading. Thank you for leading, Lord. Hallelujah. All strife be broken right now. They come off of you right now. Deafness of any kind, hard of hearing. I come against that right now in the name of Jesus. I command it to come off of you now. Heart conditions of any kind, I curse you at your root and your origin. You will not stay. You cannot stay anymore. Okay, then, then just do what he tells you, honey. If he says throw them away, then do it. He he's he's one hundred percent the boss. We just thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord, for freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heart murmurs, whether it be you or someone in your family. Heart murmurs. That's, that's what I'm hearing right now. I come against that right now. In the name of Jesus, I command heart murmurs to leave. I command the heart to be made right, right now, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Every demonic attack and strategic plan against you be broken. I send the host to heaven for it right now to break these things, break them up, to tear them to shreds. 
but there will be irrevocable ruins. Not one stone will lay upon another. This ends. These demonic cycles end. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy Spirit. Yes. I come against every form of abuse. Whether you've done to other people or that was done to you or that you saw, heard, witnessed. I come against that right now. We loose all abuse, even fear of abuse. We, we, we loose that right now in the name of Jesus from your soul. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All sickness and infirmity, I come against you right now in the name of Jesus and I command you out. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody just take a deep breath. Just as, as the Lord blew into, hit, blew the spirit of Adam into Adam. Same thing with demonic spirits. Sometimes they are, if they're in you, upon you, on you. When you exhale, I will do that too. Holy Spirit, do you want me to just do that right now? Okay. When you exhale, it's like spelling it. Holy Spirit wants us to, to tackle rejection. I come against rejection right now. That spirit of rejection and all witchcraft. I come against you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Swelling of every kind. I break your hold right now. Every demonic manifestation. Shut it on my blurriness of the eyes. Cataracts of any, just cataracts. You know, it doesn't matter the stage. Every form of it be cursed and uprooted out of their lives right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Holy Spirit. And now, we bind to their souls. We bind to our souls right now. The goodness of God. His love. Peace. His favor. His scepter. That rule. Ruling power. We rule over the enemy because he rules. In every area of our lives. Holy Spirit is saying. So, Jesus is saying. That some people. Are waiting to be told. They have permission to use that power. Even though it's in his word. So today you're permit. You understand you have permission. Permission. Is granted. Has been granted. Some. He's saying that some Sometimes people wait because they hear the goodness of God that someone is confessing and saying, oh, I got this and, and the Lord showed me that and I have this and da, 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 whatever it is. It, it doesn't matter what it is. If it was, you know, uh, dreams or visions or interpretation or, or, or uh, anointings or feeling and sensing the spirit of God and they, and they look at it and they think, I, I, I want to have that. I wish I could, wish I could have that. It is yours. It is yours. There's nothing. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit said it was part of your welcome package. When you were welcomed in to the family, it was you got everything. You didn't get a portion or a piece. You received it all. It is, it is in your hand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. And now we bind forgiveness to your soul. You need to understand that you are forgiven. And all guilt and shame, I curse that and I command it to leave off of you right now. 
The Lord does not think upon your mistakes or anything that you've done in your past. He's not bringing it back up to you. When you repent before him, he is no longer remembering it anymore. It is gone. It is erased forever, not just covered. That was the old covenant. It was covered in the old covenant. It's not covered, covered anymore. It is erased and it is gone. There's no record of it. He's not reminding you of past mistakes, past failures. He's not reminding you of any of those things. He's saying right now, every word that he has spoken out for you is, is, is for you. It is not against you. Every word spoken from him is for you. It is not against you. To prosper you, to bring you help and into the land of flowing with milk and honey, into paradise, into promise, into destiny, into the land of goodness, of plentiful and more than enough, in the land of abundance, where every need that you have is met. That is his word for you right now. So all shame and guilt and rejection and fear, it ends today. It is gone now. And every lying spirit that will try to bring back your past or anything that you've done, you will say, just as Paul said, it's not who I am. I'm a completely different person. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Yes, I bind freedom to your soul right now. Hallelujah. The presence of God is so strong right now. It's just surging. And now, Holy Spirit, with a humble heart. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We loose, we repent and loose all pride of every kind of every kind, all false humility. We loose it now from our souls and we bind to our souls, Lord. Your love and a humble heart before you, so one of surrender, your truth. Thank you, Jesus, your wisdom. In your understanding, your direction, your alignment, your course correction, your fire, your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And now we ask, Holy Spirit, that you would in dwell us, that you would fill us. We ask that we be filled with Holy Spirit, that you would come in and that you would dwell inside of us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord's eyes, believing, using our faith is greater than seeing. We <laughs> We don't see first and then decide, okay, then I'm, then I'm going to do it. No, he wants us to believe and trust him first. Use our faith. Know that your words are not powerless and the things that you ask, you have. Because it, the, the Bible says that when two or more agree, touching anything, agree in his name, that he's here and that we can have what we ask. So ask him. We come into agreement right now. Whatever it is that you find yourself needing, whatever lacking, whatever it is, ask and it is yours. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I ask that you would have your way in my life. And I will please you. Ask for your wisdom and your direction. 
so that I may serve you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We, we ask for extreme discernment. We need to be able to discern rightly. Holy Spirit, help us to discern rightly. Oh, my goodness. And now, glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, what I want us to do is I want... Uh, we're going to pray in the spirit. Um, if you have not prayed in the spirit before, how this works, Holy Spirit is not going to, it's not going to be some new voice coming out of your mouth. It's not going to be a foreign voice coming out of your mouth. It's not, it's not going to be something forced upon you. All, you're going to, whatever sounds, that are coming to you. That's the sounds you are going to make with your mouth. It's very important. It does not matter if it sounds like nothing you've ever heard before. It does not matter if it sounds like baby talk. It doesn't matter if it's like shetty booba ya da ba. It does not matter. It doesn't matter if it's choppy. Doesn't matter if it's that a same sound over and over and over again. That does not matter. All you have to be concerned with is just focusing on I'm going to keep going. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let your mind stop you. Because guess what? The Bible says when you're praying in the spirit, your mind is not fruitful. It does not understand what you are saying. It does not know what you are saying because when you're praying, the spirit is between you and God, not you and your mind. It's your spirit and God. That's it. Not your brain. Your brain's not fruitful. It does not understand. And that's okay. The only way we're going to understand is if we're gifted with the interpretation of it, and that's if the Lord decides to give it to you. You can ask for it. It doesn't mean he's still going to give it to you. Sometimes it's that need to know. So what we're so I want us to practice. So we're all gonna go out, we're all gonna take ourselves off of mute. I know it'll be a little loud, it'll be fine. We're not here to hear each other anyway. But I want anybody who might stop and think this doesn't sound right, the enemy to be completely shut up and shut off because you'll be able to hear, even if it's bits and pieces that everyone is sounding similar in some way because it's all Holy Spirit. It's not us. It does not matter how it sounds. Do not be intimidated. Do not be in fear. They have nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. The lie of the enemy is you just made that up. In all reality, how on earth would he know? What he knows is that he does not know what, what you're saying. He does, he's not gifted that information. And he right. doesn't want you to use it because he doesn't have a way to counter it. Mm -hmm. When you're praying in the spirit, you have an immediate invitation. You are immediately before the throne of God and he meets you face to face. And you are speaking mm -hmm. mouth to mouth. You're right there talking to him. He's hearing you. He's right there. And Holy Spirit is perfecting that prayer. Holy Spirit knows everything you need. Holy Spirit knows everything that you need. He's not forgetting something or leaving something out. He knows everything that you need. So when you just yield to him, he it just comes right out and flows right out, right out. Holy Spirit perfects everything that's in your heart that needs to be said. It's, one, it's your greatest prayer that you can ever offer up. It's called your holy faith, your most holy faith. So we just thank you right now, Lord. Hallelujah. So now we're just going to unmute ourselves. We're going to pray in the spirit for one minute, and then we're going to stop. Now, I will say when you're praying in the spirit, you are able to stop. If you feel like I just can't stop and I'm just completely controlled, that's not of the Lord. He does not control you. Okay. He, you're not a robot or a puppet. He does not control you. So right. we will pray in the spirit. You'll be able to stop 
when the minute is over that we'll regroup and talk about it for a second and then we'll go back for two minutes we have more people on here this time so we're going to start off at the minute i know last time i said we start off at two but we're going to do it this way let me just i just want to okay everything with holy spirit holy spirit did you need anything to do anything or say anything else lord just thank you yes if you feel like you get stuck i don't know what else to say i don't know what else to do just start thanking him i thank you lord i thank you i thank you you just start thanking him Yes. Okay, so um, Vicky, I saw you went out for a second. You got, dropped the thing, but what I was saying um, while you were gone was, what we're gonna do is we're all gonna come off of mute. Um, we're gonna we're going to be we're gonna pray in the spirit for one minute, and then we're going to stop. And I was saying that when we're praying in the spirit, that um, if you feel like you know I can't stop or I'm not I don't have the ability to stop that, but that that's not of the Lord. You have the ability to stop. Even when you're a burden to continue to pray in the spirit and you have a burden, you still are able to stop because the Lord doesn't actually control us. We're not puppets, you know, but he's going to speak through you. So um, we're going to go for one minute and then we'll stop and then we'll regroup and talk for a second. And then we'll go on and we'll do it for two minutes. Uh, if at any time that anybody feels like, I don't know what else to say, or I can't go any further because I just don't know what else to do. Holy Spirit said, so just start thanking him. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you're speaking through me. Thank you for your words. Thank you. Um, so we're going to begin. So if everybody would please take themselves off of mute. Okay. And then we're going to go for one minute. All right, we might begin. Hallelujah. <laughs> Shadda <laughs> that's our minute that's our minute let me know if you found it very difficult if you found it very difficult it's okay so I'm not here to judge you. I'm just going to help you. If you found it difficult, just let me know. You can type it in the chat. Okay. You can type it in the chat. You can, um, what'd you say, Vicky? Can you, can you unmute? I don't know if you can. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I, it's just a little hard because it's new to me. Okay. Yeah. Because it's new. Did you, were yeah. you able to pray in the spirit at all? Did you, were you um, a little bit of sounds <laughs> that's perfect then yes that's that's perfect yes yes you pray in the spirit fantastic anybody Hallelujah. else who didn't feel like that needs help like i didn't like nothing came out and i and i definitely need help it's okay if you did just let me know hallelujah lord saturday on that she cbkt okay i don't think there's anything in the chat okay perfect perfect that's good it starts off small when well, you get like just starts off really small, but then the more you use it, the more it grows and you, you get more, you're entrusted with more. He's praying more through you. So that's fantastic. Um, well, Holy Spirit, what was I going to say? Okay. I'll do that. If you just please remind me again. All right. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray again. This time we're going to go for two minutes and then we're going to stop. 
Okay, so let's begin. Shahasi So, in between this time, um, is anybody on here have foot pain? Somebody what? have pain in their foot? Presently or like routinely? I, I have no clue. <laughs> I it just comes heard. and goes, but I rebuke it often. <laughs> okay, yeah. I just heard foot pain, so I'm like, someone's Play dealing it. with foot pain. Yeah. So you said it comes and goes. You said, well, like I was in the kitchen for 12 hours the other day, so it's been pain has been trying to attack it. I'll put it that way. Okay, I have osteoarthritis. It, they said I did in my feet, so I have to wear special shoes. I can't wear regular shoes right now. So. Do you experience pain in your feet still, Trisha? Sometimes, not as bad, but I I haven't dared to wear other shoes yet except for the osteo ugly sandals I have to wear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lady shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's a joke I would make. That's funny. <laughs> okay, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Devin, it's, is it the foot that you broke at one point? Um, I, my plantar are fashion a tour. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Is know. it the same okay. foot? Yeah, yeah. Okay. My feet don't currently hurt, but you know I have hurt, had problems with my feet right. since I fit on the stairs, but thank God they don't hurt right now. <laughs> Right, I, I do, get I, nerve pain in my foot. Nerve it's coming pain? from my back. Yeah. Nerve my pain. Toes. Okay. Hers was injury. Margaret and Devin had injury. And Trisha, but I guess it's Trisha. And did anybody else? I got Barbara, Devin, Trisha. Uh, this, um, anybody else this, yeah this something? is this is Cecile I get the same thing Barbara does from my back pain I get the numbness like in my toes okay Cecile. 
Okay, anybody else? Lord God, I just thank you right now for supernatural divine healing. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> that you move, Holy Spirit, yes, over Jesus. each yes. person here. I release <laughs> your fire right now. Amen. And go yes. forth. Yes. I come against all trauma based pain from injuries. Yes, God. Yes. All pain yes. that's linked, foot pain that is linked to back pain. Hallelujah. Yes, I send forth your healing angels. I send forth Raphael right now. Yes. Go forth and to bring healing. In the name of Jesus. Pain, nerve pain. I speak to those nerves right now. Be free right now in the name of yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Release. Yes. I command the body yes. to no longer remember yes. that pain. Yes. All muscle yes. memory, yes. cell memory, yes. nerve memory yes. to be healed yes. right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I release your glory right now. Hallelujah. Your glory. Your glory, your glory, your glory, your glory. Going forth, going forth, going forth, going forth, going forth. Your glory going forth to bring about healing. Hallelujah. Jesus be glorified. Jesus be magnified. Jesus be glorified. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's all about Jesus. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus, for healing your people. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Earlier, when we prayed earlier about what was it? Heart murmur. Heart murmur. Holy Spirit was called that out. Heart murmur. Anybody? Vicky, you say you? It's not a murmur, but I have heart problems. Okay, we come against that. I have a heart murmur. I was born with mitral valve prolapse. Barbara? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have that too. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. Well, that I have is a heart murmur also. I don't want to agree. <laughs> Okay. That's okay. what the doctor. Right. I don't keep yeah. We come against that. We curse it yes. at its root right now, at your origin. It's cursed. Yes, God. Now yes. we lay the axe to the yes. root of the tree, and I command new growth and new life and a correction yes. and a right heart yes. now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come against teeth pain, pain in your teeth. Yes. 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 Yes.
that brought death and decay. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I speak rejuvenation and health to their mouth now in the name of Jesus. I say teeth and the, and the pain in the nerves and sensitive teeth to where you eat the things that it hurts. I come against you right now in the name of Jesus. And I speak rejuvenation and regeneration in the teeth. Enamel to come back in the name of Jesus. Restoration in the name of Jesus in your mouth. Hallelujah, Jesus. In the molar. I just seen someone's molars in the molar. Shabbat, I come against even cavities. I curse you right now. And then in the name of Jesus, I curse you. I curse you. I curse you in Jesus' name. And I release help. I release yes. your light. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I release the light of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On the front of my head to the soles of our feet. Thank you for the Thank you for 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 Thank you Heart palpitations. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Heart palpitations. I come against that right now. I curse that fear right now in the name of Jesus. That anxiety and stress. Fear, anxiety, and stress is what's producing that. I come against it right now. And I have brought it by the blood of the Lamb. I speak peace in your heart and I say you will live a long life. And the heart will not give up. Not give out. Yes, Underestimate, do not underestimate continuing to practice uh, praying in the spirit. Don't underestimate that. There is more that you can get done praying in the spirit than you will ever get spending time praying out loud in your own words because these are perfect prayers. This is not, and <laughs> this is God Himself praying through you. That's who Holy Spirit is. He is also 100% God. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Um, before we go, uh, Lord, we just give you glory. I just mm -hmm. give you glory and praise and honor. I have to. I just love you so much, Lord, because you are so good. You are so good. You're so merciful. You're so full of love and goodness. Hallelujah. You are all love. You are love. You are goodness. You are mercy. Those things come out of you. Those are your those are your characteristics. They're who you are. It's what makes up who you are. We just get a touch of it. Thank you, Lord, that you are all just. And I thank you, Lord, that you're going forth right now, bringing just and justice for your people in every area of their lives. That they're crying out for justice, or that you're bringing justice and freedom. You have not turned a blind eye, but you are the God who hears, and you are the God who answers by fire. Yes, I thank you, Lord, that you are answering by fire. The time for bail has come and gone. Yes, hallelujah. Send your fire, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your fire showing up in their lives. And yes. each of our lives showing up and burning everything that is not of you 
It's not we need that even even the water. It says all when he came and answered by fire with Elijah, even the water, it says, was licked up. Everything was gone. The stuff, everything, nothing was left except the imprint of a holy, just God. And it was left on every person. And that they could no longer say, and they were corrupt people. They were people who were so hearted and corrupted that all they could say is, you are God. The Lord is God. Yahweh is God. And we declare that this day. Yahweh is God. You are God. Jesus is God. Holy Spirit is God. And we thank you, Lord, that you are ruling and you are reigning and you are coming down with great force and a show. Hallelujah. And a show that you will openly Again, yes. openly, oh, Jesus, to destroy the enemy in his place. You will make an open show of him. Yes, just as you you continue to do. Yes, and we shall overcome. Yes. By the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These testimonies are going to go forth. I decree it right now. Yes. They're going to go forth with power Hallelujah. and fire Hallelujah. and demonstration yes. that people will see you, Lord. They won't see us. That's right. They'll, they'll see you. Hallelujah. And they'll have no choice but to say the Lord is God. Because he's the only God who answered by fire. Amen. I thank you, Lord. Thank you. I don't care what it is that you're praying for, believing for, holding on for. You start rejoicing him. You start being in thanksgiving. You start celebrating because the time of wait is over. It's over. It's over. This is his time. Yes. We've yes. waited for so long for the time of God. This is his time. This is his time. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Praise your name. Yes. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your timing. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The thing, Holy Spirit, uh, keeps reminding me to say, is uh, is um, in the beginning when we were uh surrendering ourselves before the Lord, Jesus, I saw Jesus, and He was standing. I don't even know what, where he was at, but he was standing inside. I don't even know. <laughs> he was standing inside something that was awesomely big, whatever it was, uh, a building. He was standing inside of it. And we all walked in in armor. Yes. And I, I, we, we just took the knee right in front of him. You know, he's standing up on a little a little stage or platform, I would say, like a little pla like a step up, but it was a whole platform. That was that step. And he was standing up there and <laughs> we had armor like like knights, like knights armor is what it looked like. Because yeah. even the face piece could come up and you know, we had our heads bowed and and we we're just surrendering to him and loosing things from our soul and everything. And <laughs> when I, I and when I, so instantly I went into that vision and I saw us and I just I just picked my head up when I was talking and and looking at him and he was all light. I mean he was he, yeah I could see him but he was all he was oh. if I can use this word he was glowing or like illuminated. He his skin everything it was you could just see his glory was on him oh, and yeah. and he was just standing and he was wearing all white. Like all, a white, all white robe, um, type of. It was like a. Unfortunately, we have our own types of robes here, but it was like. 
Yeah. It reminded me a little, well, and it ain't really like that either. It reminds me of, it reminds, I guess the shape of it will remind me of like a Mexican shawl where you could it oh it's like a it's like a rectangle that has a cut in it so that you could actually put it over your shoulders but it flows in a full shape in the back it was like mm -hmm. a white like that and it was and it was long it went all the way down and that's kind of like the robe that i would say he was wearing but and it was just flowing with his i want to say it was the glory on him was flowing but it wasn't like dripping off but it was just it just was on him moving on him and mm -hmm. you know he reached his hand out over us so i just want you to know that everything that you brought before him earlier and even now as we began to pray and and, and prayed in the spirit he was standing right there Ooh. and he doesn't yeah. just do nothing amen he doesn't just do nothing he's not just looking at you like oh poor you <laughs> Glad you came. Have a good day. No, he always does something. Him showing up means a lot. He didn't have to show up. He, I mean, he didn't have to show up to where I could see him, but I love that he did that because it's confirmation on everything I just said in the beginning. That when two or three gather, we are in his midst. We, we are. He's right there. He comes right there. And he said, yeah. you can have the things that you're asking so know that if you if you are calling for family, if you're calling for yourself, if it's healing, Lord, if it's finances, Lord, if it's a home, Lord, if it's my job, Lord, if it's whatever, if it's this world, Lord, whatever I brought. See, the only requirement is that he's requiring us to bring it to him. If you don't bring it to him, like, well, he knows what's going on. He said to come. You have to bring it to him. And you bringing it to him out of obedience. I've said this before. Obedience triggers things. Your obedience to just at least do the thing he's just the tiny little thing he's asking you to do to just bring it. Your obedience is what triggers other things. Not our crying, our, you know, rolling on the ground, Lord, and having that whole meltdown. <laughs> just hear me. He's like, if you would just give it to me and tell me. And then trust me to do it. You would know that I already answered before you have called because it was my word. And my word will never fade away. It says heaven and earth shall fade away. My word shall remain forever. And Jesus is like, don't you know that I am the word? I am the word. He's the word. Everything that we need. Word became flesh. He Yes, the word that became flesh, the living, breathing word of God. That is who he is. That's who Jesus is. And then Holy Spirit is the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. They're inseparable, but they can come out from each other, but they go into each other. But they are one and the same, yet they're all unique. Amen. Hallelujah. He, the word came. The word came. And what God says will accomplish what he sends it out to do. Mm -hmm. It will not return void to him. The <laughs> word came. And in, and in, 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 in the Bible, when, when a king would stretch his arm out to you or his hand out to you, that was your request being granted. Esther would have been killed had he not extended the scepter. That's what that meant. They didn't have to always say something. It was that gesture of yes, and it is done. Mm -hmm. He extended his hand out. So it is done. Our job is to rejoice in him, to thank him, to continue to thank him. Don't let, don't think because when you wake up tomorrow, the enemy's like, nothing happened. Well, I guess nothing happened. No, tell that fool to shut up. Mm -hmm. He better get under your feet willingly or he's gonna have his head bashed and he'll have no choice to be down there anyway you better tell him right away who he is put him in his place don't entertain his lies because that's what he wants he wants you to turn away from what god told you that's no different it's the same thing he's done since the beginning of time he just needs you 
to look his way. That is how he gets a hook. That is how. Eve turned and looked at him. Because it says in the word that she saw that the fruit was good to eat. It's been there how long? She knew good and well. She just never looked at it that way. I'm healed. It was only when he said that. Then she was like, oh, well, you know, it does look a little juicy. Girl, I'm going to find another fruit somewhere else. <laughs> but no. And Adam was no good standing right there, too. Well, you know, she eat it and then, because it didn't say she went to go find him. It said she took a bite and then turned and gave it to him. He was right there. They both were looking mm -hmm. another direction. We have to just keep our eyes on Jesus and don't fall back. Not that he can't redeem us out of whatever we fall into, but I'll tell you what, sometimes, sometimes it's just too late. Sometimes the things that we just turned away and did was just too late. Like for instance, them, it was just too late. And sometimes the teacher in life, it, sometimes in some people that your life is just over, whatever the mistake was, it's done. You lose mm -hmm. your life. Yeah. The mis mistake, like some people are like, I'll just take try drugs one time and that's it enough to kill them. Mm -hmm. Experience is a hard teacher. Exactly. And the devil does not come it doesn't say that the devil comes to cut and scrape you and then laugh. No, it says he comes to kill, steal, mm -hmm. and destroy. That is his first goal was kill. It's like, that's mm -hmm. he's coming for the kill shot. That's what he wants. He's not about, he just wants to uh, torment you on this earth. And, you know, and that's, he just wants to make fun of you. He's trying to bait you out to kill you he's not your friend those thoughts and questions are not your friend you have to just as soon as you hear them as soon as holy spirit brings it to you you know what no i'm not gonna believe that i have to have him before my eyes i gotta have the word of god before my eyes continually i have to renew my mind continually i gotta watch what i'm saying continually because what i say is what i'll have so if i start building today for the kingdom of god and then tomorrow i'm building i'm tearing it down so then everything i did yesterday is being torn down today and if i keep going back forth like that it'd be 15 years and not one stone was laid yet because everything keeps getting torn down that's a cycle our job is to thank him when we don't see it, to thank him when we don't feel changed, to thank him no matter what and continue to decree what he said. That is our job. That is our job. That is our job. If we can get a hold of our job and take it serious. How many times people say, that's just religious and da, da, da. But at the same time, they believe in healthy mantras. Mm -hmm. because your words do produce life the devil is just a complete idiot who's so backwards always he's talking on both ends of his mouth he cannot be trusted and he's full of confusion your words don't 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 look back know that he's met you today you know i was talking to my sister last thing earlier before i got on that's why i was a little bit late i was late for being early really but and she was talking about John Kilpatrick said that uh, God is not a, he's not a God of performance. And, and, and what she was saying was, and what he was saying was that God doesn't jump through hoops for us. He's, we don't get to, he, we're not the ringmaster. I'm putting my interpretation on it now because hers was, his was really a John Kilpatrick. <laughs> Mine is Kristen. <laughs> We're not the ringmaster. We're not in there with the flaming hoops. Now come in this way and then move that way. Come on, let's go. Right. It's not like that. Custer, sweetheart, you don't need to go outside it. You just don't. Not but a genie in the bottle. Exactly. He's not the genie in the bottle. He's not the, because I said jump, you better jump. Otherwise, you're not God. No, you just need to learn that, guess what? He's going to come the way he's going to come. You know, I'll, I'll just tell on myself this morning, I was in the kitchen cleaning and everything, getting ready to make 
this is like day two or three of making crepes. My kids just can't get enough of them all. So anyway, I was cleaning the kitchen doing that. And I just, and I, I was always, I was praying, Lord, that you would, you know, uh, you know, that this whole processing thing would just go through for Josh and all that. But that, was, that was my prayer, you know, just thanking him and da, 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 da. But then, it, and then I turned around and said, you know what, Lord, I just, I don't even care no more. I said, you just have your way and do whatever it is that you're going to do. That's all I care about. When I, when I, as soon as I got done saying that, I heard a whole, a, a grown man right behind me say, huh. and I was like, who is that on the side behind me? I turned to look like, and I thought, maybe there was just the sink water going out that I heard this. And maybe it wasn't a sigh at all. Maybe it was just the water in the sink going out. So I got done with that. And I, I, you know, said, maybe that's what I was hearing. And I was like, I said, Lord, you just, you just have your way and do whatever it is that you're going to do. And I just thank you. And I just praise you. Then I heard another voice say, finally. And I was like, I said, okay, Lord, <laughs> finally, you could have just told me, but you know, that's fine. I said, you just have your way. That's what he's waiting for. He's like, she keeps trying to ask me to go this way. <laughs> But I'm not going the way she think I'm going to go. I, I got something else planned. And so I was like, you know what, God, you just do what you're going to do. I just thank you that you're going to do what you're going to do. However you're going to do it. However you're going to answer. You you have to answer. So my, my at the end of the day, I know you're going to show up. I know you're going to answer. However you choose to do I'm it, I'm fine. Do I'm, I'm, done, uh, I'm done talking about that same thing no more. I ain't going to talk about that no more. I said, I'm, I'm fine, Lord. They were like, finally, I was like, <laughs> You're going to tell me that you don't want me to say that, but you know what? I thank you that you, that you always teach me that you always teach me. That's the God we serve. He's just wanting us to surrender to him and let him just do what he's going to do. It might not come in the way we want it to come. It might not come in bells and whistles, but you know what? Neither did he, he didn't come in bells and whistles. He didn't come the way people thought he was going to come. He came in a manger that no one wanted. I mean, no one. If it was like the hospital's full, baby, you better go on down the street. There's like a um a quick and cold. Excuse me, I'm gonna go to a drive through. <laughs> That's the best we got. But you know what? That's what they did. That was the best that they had. Like, oh, that 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 stuff for the king. But you know what? He came in humble. He went out like a lamb, but he's coming back as a lion. And his power that's it's here and through us and with us is one of a lion. And he and that's the way he wants to move. You know, a lamb, you can pretty much kind of get a lamb to go the way you're trying to get it to go. Like, come on, you're gonna just pick you up, little cute thing. But a lion, you ain't gonna pick that up. That's you can't make that go where you want it to go. Granted, Jesus didn't do anything other than what his father told him to do. But that that meekness in his spirit. He was so humble, had to live this life out humble. He taught us how to live our life. That was all about teaching us and redeeming us. Now he's coming back to live through us. And that's why we crucify ourselves. We crucify our flesh. Not I that lives, Lord, but you in me is what lives. Do away with the old person. I'm done with them. I'm done with their opinions. I'm done with everything that they wanted. And I can say they, because that's not me. Everything that they, meaning my old self, meaning my flesh, wanted. I'm done with that. And I, that's our, that's our, that's our new way of living our life. That's what Fire Top was all about. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Learning his ways. Holy Spirit, is there anything else that you wanted to say or do? I just give you. I have a scripture that's been screaming in my ears. <laughs> Please go right ahead. It's Luke ten nineteen. I had to look it up. I just heard the, the scripture itself. Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will injure you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written and recorded in heaven. But when I went to the Passion Translation and read it. Pull it back up. It was it says it this way. Now you understand that I have imparted to you my authority to trample over his kingdom. That's the devil. You will trample upon every demon before you and overcome every power Satan possesses. Absolutely nothing 
will harm you as you walk in this authority. So when you were saying that you were standing before Jesus and we had the armor on, the scripture was still screaming, this is how you're going to be standing. You're going to be armored up, ready to right. take my authority and take this monkey out. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Know who we are. Know who you are. Yeah. Know who you are. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for moving mightily. Thank you for healing. Oh, thank you. Oh, last thing is last night I was, I, I mentioned it earlier in the group chat, but last time I was praying about breakthrough, I was just praying about breakthrough. I was just thanking him, thanking him. I was calling forth breakthrough. Jesus, I was just spending that time with the Lord. And I saw it was like the center part of a dam, or you could even, it could be called a dike. And it burst open like it just burst right in the center in a strange place like you you would think you would see some kind of a something crack from the top down or something it just burst right in the center and water was just spewing out forcefully and um mm. and i was and as i started just thanking him for the breakthrough oh my goodness the fire god just fell so hard on the in the room on me i was just it was just amazing but breakthrough is here breakthrough is here this is your moment of breakthrough thank you. it is break yeah. breakthrough season and thank you holy spirit thank and you. breakthrough yes. and break forth it's coming forth mm -hmm. it's coming forth hallelujah it's coming forth nothing can stop that you know, when it broke in the center, nothing's stopping that. This is beyond compromise. It just, there's no fixing that. It's not like you got a crack at the top and we can kind of come in and do something. No, it's done. And it broke so, that was the other thing, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you're right. It was, it broke in an, un, it was unexpected the way it came through. And then what was the other thing you just said? <clears throat> it was forceful. And nobody could have saw it coming. And I just thank you, Lord. Because it it was no indication that that was going to break. It all of a sudden just burst from the center out. Ooh, so without warning, expect his breakthrough without warning. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you. We honor you. We give you glory and praise. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> the Lord always says, Ever since I heard Cat Kerr say, he says, eat cake and celebrate. You know, well, sometimes I ask, Lord, what do you want me to do? He'd be like, go get some cake. I'm like, you ain't said nothing but a thing. <laughs> I'll go make it right now. It only take me five seconds. <laughs> so, Lord, I just thank you that you put celebration um, in their hearts. Yeah. Lord, I just bind celebration to every person's soul right now. Yeah. I bind celebration yeah. without fear. <clears throat> you can't celebrate when you're in fear. Lord, I bind your celebration. I bind it to their souls right now. Hallelujah. I will do that. Devin, the Lord said he wants you to release freedom to everybody. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So you you go ahead and pray freedom over us, release it over us, and then we will go. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, you're so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for meet, Thank you. this meeting today. Thank you for your blood that has set us free. Thank you for breaking the chains off of all of us. Thank you for breaking the chains Thank off you. of our family members. Thank you for the ultimate Thank sacrifice of providing us freedom to just live for you and to be with you and be with our Father. And so I just pray thanksgiving and freedom over this meeting as we go forth um, just to continue praising you and thanking you for everything you're doing right now, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the freedom, not only that you have provided so far, but that is continuing to come in the days ahead. Thank you for freedom. In Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I will say, yeah. when you prayed that, yeah. I saw a person who, they, they had a chain around their neck, um, like a mm. thick, um 
what do you call that? Uh, a it's a, it's a, what do you call it? It's like a neck collar. Thank you. The collar is a chain, uh, um, uh, not chain, a steel collar around their neck. But the they ran, yeah. but and it seemed like they were getting somewhere. But come to find out, it was actually a really long chain that it was attached to a wall, so they could only go so far. And they looked back, and it was like every time they felt like they were trying to go forward, it's like it choking. You know, it's that like choking. Mm -hmm. But when you began to pray and you were releasing that freedom, first I felt the anointing just on my shoulders. But then as soon as you got pretty much into it, I saw it's they could hear it breaking. And so they turned back to look um, and saw it break, break. And when it broke off, they went running because they were kind of like in a prison, but they were still able to go. It was like a false freedom. You thought you were really kind of going somewhere, but you really weren't going anywhere because you were still attached, but it broke mm -hmm off and as they began to run the scene changed from like um a prison to it was like these green green grassy area and all i was thinking is you know that that scripture they'll be you know dancing and leaping and praising god but i just that thank you for praying over everybody because you i will say that too holy spirit he said he, before you started praying he said she's a freedom carrier and i know that so when you release that freedom it goes forth and it, and it brings freedom chains get broken and people get released lord i just thank you hallelujah for every person here because every person here has has a gifting and a calling hallelujah thank you lord every person here has a gift and a call every person has has, their, has an anointing that they bring so you, you know everybody be encouraged we need every single person here. No, not one person is like the person or something, unless it's Jesus. Whoo, hallelujah. So Lord, I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you. We can go in, in the name of Jesus and in freedom, we can go. So thank you, everybody. Shalom. And I'm glad y'all stayed, <laughs> but it's for the Lord and what he wants to do. And we just do what he tells us to do. So hallelujah and have a wonderful night.